Hi, my name is Jeremy Reynolds and I'm a percussion instructor here at REW Music. I'm uh, here today to show you a couple of different instruments that you might have uh, laying around your house and, and different ways that you can make music at home. Okay? So, first thing I got in front of me is a bunch of different pots and pans. Um, I like pots and pans because they have such different uh, sounds and they always have a really nice clear pitch. So here's uh, an example of uh, this little mini uh, skillet that I got. And so that has a nice sound to it, but I got a couple of pitches and I'll just go up the line here. And here's my, uh, my little cooking pot. So that has a really, really bright high sound. Um, but these are just a couple of different uh, tools that you can use uh, to help make some music. Okay, I'm going to stack these up here and move these to the side. Uh, second thing I got for you is just a couple of empty buckets. Okay, This one I think was for uh, some sort of flour and this one was country crock butter. I like them because they were really, really similar in size. But what I can do is see which pitch is a higher pitch and a lower pitch, and then I can set them up accordingly. Okay, that's that pitch there. So this one's going to have a little bit uh, higher sound because it's a little smaller. So again, that's just two buckets, and then for what I'm using to hit them with, and what I use to hit some of those pots and pans over there, are just spoons. I like spoons because they have a really, really similar technique that you can use, and you can still get some nice sounds and uh, still using with uh, proper technique. You can actually get some pretty advanced techniques uh, out of uh, spoons uh, when you're practicing. So. That's a couple of different options. You can try forks or any sort of things. Um, I have just a really thin pair of drumsticks as well that I like to use for activities like this. Uh, right here, this was baking powder. Um, this is just an empty baking powder container. And it has a place where I can put a lid on it. And so what I did was I filled it up maybe about that much with rice. Okay? And that way, you can get a nice little shaker sound. And again, what I'm doing to get that is I'm just moving my wrist front and back. And so once when you get that going, you know, you can get some different You can get a, a lot of different beats and grooves from just those three items. And then this last thing I want to talk to you about is just this tall Quaker Oats or Quick Oats or whatever, uh, whichever one I got. That's a nice hollow sound. We can hit it with the bottom off and get a more resonant. So you can do that possibly if you're adding to your uh, bucket collection. I like to keep the lid on and kind of contain that sound in there. And then uh, you can get a lot of different uh, rebounds. You can get rebound from that. And um, again, makes makes for a really, really nice sound. So that is some different uh, things that you can use while you're at home for uh, playing music for different REW activities. Or uh, maybe you're just making music with your family. So thank you so much for listening. And uh, we'll be back with more.